This is required maintenance on every diesel generator. Doing a valve adjustment. It's actually very easy. Undo the screws, holding down the cover, remove the cover or open the top access hatch on your enclosed diesel generator. Remove these three bolts, which are the cover for the rocker cover, or where the valve adjustment screws will be. Very simple to remove it. There is a gasket underneath. Most of the time it'll be fine, won't have to be replaced. Your decompression lever, it normally pushes down on the exhaust valve here. It's working fine, nothing wrong with it. Now, I don't know what top dead center is. Uh, that's where the adjustments should be made. What I'm going to do is rotate the engine either by cranking it or by pulling the manual recoil and looking at these rocker arms and springs and watching for the point where they're not moving and they're at rest. That's the point where I'm going to leave it and make my adjustments. That's about as critical as you need to get with this generator. They appear to be fine. Everything's okay. They're not overly loose. Before I can make any adjustments, I need to release these two bolts that secure the adjustment screws, which can be adjusted with a flat blade screwdriver. In this case, they're very loose, and I can just turn them by hand. Check your engine manual and look at uh, what the gap should be. Grab a feeler gauge. You can buy it at any automotive store or Napa. The uh, intake is the first one. Should be adjusted. Here I'm using the wrong size. It shows 0.11 millimeter. It should be 0.15 millimeter. I can adjust the screw until it's just snug, just making contact, rubbing a little bit. Hold it in place with a flatbed screwdriver and lock it into position. Before I move on, I will just confirm again that it is at 0.15 millimeter, not 0.11 like my feeler gauge is showing in this video. And now I'm going to check my exhaust valve adjustment. It should be 0.15 to 0.2 millimeters. Just at the point that it starts making contact and catches is where I'm going to tighten it off. Use a screwdriver to hold it so it doesn't move when you lock it into position. And just double check it, make sure it hasn't changed and nothing's moved. These valve adjustments are critical and are required maintenance. It is something you should do at the initial break-in period at 20 or 25 hours after you've uh, run your generator for the first time. And then you should check it every couple hundred hours. It makes a big difference, and if they are out of adjustment, you may cause engine damage and void your warranty. It literally takes five minutes to do this, and with a $3 tool you can pick up at Napa, that feeler gauge, a screwdriver, and a wrench. Five minutes of your time and you're done. With a proper valve adjustment, your engine will run quieter, will not rattle or knock as much. It'll run more efficiently and prolong the life of your engine. For more information, please visit our website. Parts are available online as well as additional help and videos.